Hello, everybody. Let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Let's see what Spirit has to say for the collective. One card out already. What do we got? A personal issue reaches resolution. Okay. Spirit, please show me. What do we got? Wow. A new start is coming. Spirit. Oh, there's our third one. And communication is key. There's going to be some type of communication and it's time to take action. Someone here is coming in. We can have an Aries, a Cancer, or a Gemini. And being that we have a new moon getting ready to come up in Virgo, okay? But that does not mean that it has to be your sign, but that could also be relevant. Sorry about my hair, guys. I just decided to do a reading, so... Um, with that said, <clears throat> it's time to take action. It's time to go after what you want. If there has been any type of conflict in a relationship, especially in a family dynamic, it, someone here is wanting to move forward. Somebody is wanting to come in and communicate with you. Now, that doesn't necessarily have to be family. It could be friends that feel like family. It could be a, um, a significant partner, somebody that you are not with at this time because we do have the full moon, so there could have been a wrapping up in the past, um, some type of an ending uh, let's go ahead and get some more cards on this and see what this is. But there is some type of communication. There's going to be a breakthrough is what I'm gathering uh, in this. I feel like you be prepared to receive some type of communication from someone uh, that maybe wants to you know, hash things out, two of swords, maybe, you know, they're a little stuck trying to make a decision. Do I, you know, and for some of you, I feel like, you know, you're not even seeing this. I feel like you're blocking your heart center. We have the seven of pentacles. Am I going, you know, should I, shouldn't I, you know, should I invest any more in this? Um, for some of you, this is about investments, uh, you know, not knowing what to invest in spirit. Please show me for the collective. What do they need to know about this? What do we got? The six of pentacles. So for some of you, this is about equal give and take. Um, you know, if you've been being breadcrumbed in the past with your job, with a relationship, I feel like those things are starting to come to an end. Yeah, again, an end. Someone here walked away um, in the past. I am getting that very, very strongly, and that's what I was saying. There was some type of an ending that needed to happen in the past, and now someone here is like, you know, do I want this new start? Head and heart decision. Should I, shouldn't I? Should I, shouldn't I? We've got that with the two of swords here, and I did say with that new move, Moon, and we've got the new moon there as well. So uh, we've got four new moons here um, is what I'm seeing. So head and heart decisions. This could be about love. This could be about business. Someone here wanting to reach out, maybe extend an olive branch, uh, give an apology, you know, especially if, and I feel like this is going to be a surprise. There's going to be some, uh, a surprise communication that comes in and you might be a little defensive. You might say no before you say yes is what I just heard, you know, but I feel like someone from the past is definitely returning. They're wanting to return. They've been thinking a lot about you. Uh, they've been staying up late at night. For some of you, when this comes in, it's like you're not even going to know what to do. Um, you know, sh again, there's that four of cups. I feel like they feel like this is a missed opportunity. It's like, you know, they're extending that cup here and it's like not just coming from them, it's coming from the universe. But I feel like for a lot of you, you're looking at what you've lost and not what you're gaining from the universe. So yes, this may be a surprise, but a lot of the time we go into retrograde because it's a chance for us to go back and retrieve something that maybe we left behind, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have the emperor. So this is all about power and control. This is somebody who is sitting on their throne. And you know what? That's funny because the emperor is Aries. And then we also have Aries at the bottom of the deck. So both of these are very Aryan uh, energies. Um, this could have a lot to do with, you know, s sitting on your throne, taking back your power, um, this is, you know, for some of you, you're dealing with somebody who is in a place of authority or you are in that place of authority. You are the one who's taking back your power. The emperor is the one who makes the final decisions. And I do see that there are decisions that need to be made with the two of, um, two of swords, seven of pentacles and the lover's card here. For some of you, this is about investments. You know, do I invest in this? Should I, should I, shouldn't I? I feel like for a lot of you, you know, you're worried about making the wrong decision, but it is saying that there is a new start coming uh, once you do make this decision. It's like 
all of a sudden everything is illuminated. But again, you're just afraid that, you know, you might miss out on opportunities. You might miss out on that relationship you've always wanted. You might miss out on that loan. If you don't, you know, uh, if you don't apply for it, you might miss out on that job if they've offered it to you and you're kind of sitting back like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like with all the planets in retrograde, this is a time of deep introspection, a time for us to go within and, you know, don't feel rushed to make a decision if someone comes back in. It could be an old job that comes back and says, hey, you know, I would really like to bring you on board. And you're like, hmm. So I, I just heard negotiations, um, negotiating something, uh, negotiating the, the price of what you know, how you, you know, how much you feel that your work is worth. Okay. You don't want them undervaluing you because I see you going from the seven of pentacles to the six of pentacles. So it's really important that you, um, that you negotiate with this higher up because if it's meant for you, you'll get what you want. So make sure that before you make a decision that you kind of sit back, um, and, it, before you before you move forward, okay? Because we have a lot of planets in retrograde and especially the one that rules money, Venus, and love, okay? So if this is an old lover coming back, um, just wait. Don't make any decisions, you know? If it's meant for you, it'll be here after Mercury and Venus go direct, okay? Same thing with the job. If it is meant for you, it'll be, it'll move forward for you. If this is about purchasing a home or getting a loan, if it is meant for you, it'll be there when uh, the planets move direct, especially the two main planets of Venus and Mercury, which is our everyday lives, the way we think, the way we spend our money, what we value, uh, our relationships, all of those things. will There will be more communication that will come out as we get to the middle of September. So this is about, you know, really... Um, you know, instead of like, it's saying that it's time to take action, but at the end of the day, I think you're waiting on some type of communication to come through. So for some of you, if this is about, you know, an insurance payout, because we do have the Hierophant here, this is about assets, debt, stocks, bonds, hierarchies, banking institutions, uh, insurance companies, all of those things. I feel like for some of you, you're waiting on somebody to um, communicate with you about how those payoffs are going to come through. Um Hmm. Let's see. What advice does spirit have for you? Spirit, please show me what do we got here? Okay. Orphaned and Yang. So Yang is all about taking action. You know, someone here who has been feeling left out in the cold, um, someone here who has been abandoned by, uh, you know, ab abandoned their job or abandoned, you know, uh, where they live or abandoned a relationship or abandoned by their family or abandoned by, you know, everybody's been abandoned in some way, shape or form. I do feel like it was for the betterment of your life, even if you can't see it right now. For some of you, you are dealing with some type of depression, some type of anxiety, sadness, grief, um, loss. It could be also loss of a pet. I just heard, you know, somebody here is having a tough time because they've lost their, uh, their, their furry loved one. My condolences to you. I'm so sorry to hear that. But this is also about, for some of you, this is about needing Reiki, okay? Maybe you need to find a Reiki practitioner in your area. If you are on the big island, I do offer, uh, Reiki as well. Um, But I feel like after you, like, you don't want to make decisions based off of an emotion. You want to use your logic. That's what the emperor is all about. Somebody who uses their logic. They sit back, they analyze, you know, all the nooks and crannies of the situation that they're bringing in, you know, that they're, um, that they're working on. Like, do I do it? Do I do this? But I'm not going to, I'm not going to make a decision until I have all the facts. So show me the car facts. Show me. Okay. Um, I feel like for a lot of people, you are very defensive. I feel like you are, 
I think we're all just kind of walking on pins and needles right now, knowing that there's something new coming, but not quite sure what that is. We're waiting on something to come back around so that we can make the final decision. Anyway, you guys, I hope that helps. Um, if you are interested in a personal reading, all my information's in the description box. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, also comment. It does help get me into the algorithm. Uh, Facebook or YouTube is for purposely keeping my uh, vision low because of the things that I say here on YouTube. Uh, they must not like me or my channel or whatever it is that I'm offering. So if you guys could seriously interact, that would help me out tremendously. Anyway, you guys check me out on Facebook and Instagram where I haven't been censored and they don't keep me small. Um, and uh, I love you guys all so much and I'll chat again soon. Take care.